What is going on everybody and welcome to an update to the Python Plays series. In this video I'm going to be going over just some of the updates that I've found uh, with the object detection and kind of what, what I'm thinking moving forward. So this is one of the out of the box Coco uh, models. It detects cars, pedestrians, um, traffic lights, although there are really no traffic lights around here for me to show you. Um, but it's pretty good. The problem is it still just doesn't, it doesn't detect as far, like the distance wise, <laughs> potted plant over there in the corner, doesn't quite detect out as far as I would like it to. Um, and then also like see that car still not being picked up. Really that car never got picked up <laughs> until like the very, very end. Um, and, and really all I, I want is cars and people to be picked up um, as good as possible. So probably going to wind up having to train my own custom model just because this one's not picking up people as quickly as I would like. So the plans for the on foot model are to, you know, play GTA in the way that one plays GTA. So he should be able to engage with the police here. Um, and the way that we can do that is, you know, when you find out, hey, where's the police um, or whoever you want to uh, engage with, you just find the center. Um, of the cube or square rather and that's how you engage now same thing with uh, stealing cars the way that we did it before um, you, you would find the bounding box for the car and then uh, basically you would move the mouse to to force the car to be basically center screen run towards it and then when you're close enough press F to enter the car that's what we had done before and I think that's probably what I'm gonna do again as far as like stealing cars is concerned um, but I think it'd be cool to let uh, let the AI kind of uh, do its own thing on it, on foot rather than purely go for cars all the time. What did that say? <laughs> I'm not sure what that was calling that yellow line. So uh, so with the models, um, all I really did was just uh, let me see if I can get away here. Yeah. So this is the Grand Theft Auto uh, object detector. Basically, we're just grabbing screen as usual. Um, I do also have, so it's also, I can run them both at the same time. I just set the GPU fraction. Oh, I keep clicking on this to, <laughs> to play. Um, so I can unpause. And that's the other thing is how do we get Charles to like walk around in the environment? So on the one hand, uh, when he's in third person, he actually can walk around pretty well because he's just going to walk as if he was driving. So he should pretty much always walk along the roads, which should provide decent enough uh, play. The problem is generally if you walk, the police are always going to appear behind you. So that's kind of awkward. So probably still going to have to figure out some way to engage with police. The other option that we have is the on foot version could be completely retrained using similar methods that we use to train, you know, the self-driving car only. I'm thinking that you could probably do transfer learning um, on foot. So start with the car model and then from there go to do uh, transfer learning. And I think we should be able to do that. Then you have some sort of like state that you're just tracking, like where is the player? Is he in a car? Is he on foot? Um, and then later, you know, is he in a plane or all that stuff? So like, as you can see, he pretty, pretty well can just walk along the street, but yeah, you're always going to have police behind you, uh, which is kind of weird, but they always do seem to end up being behind you, which is kind of lame. So anyway, got to do something about that. Maybe, you know, you could just use OpenCV, figure out where the police are by looking for like the little dots or something like that. Or you could train a neural network model to always like kind of turn towards police. So no, not really any different than how we trained the self-driving car to kind of follow the purple line. I, I don't think it would be too difficult to get a AI to you know, look at all those like, you know, red or blue dots and try to always aim towards the red or blue dots. So um, that should be totally possible and hopefully require a lot less data if we're able to get away with using transfer learning uh, because it's the same exact key presses that we'd be pushing. Um, and then you would use the object detection script itself to actually when you when it comes time to aim to aim. So um, anyway, I think that's kind of my ideas for how we're going to get a decent on foot version, um, but we'll see how that goes. Surfboard. Nice. Nope. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. So, uh, some of the ways, like if you wanted to play with this yourself anyways, uh, you could come into here and all you have to do is if you pull up, let me just bring it up real quick. 
Um, it's like the G or GTA. Uh, TensorFlow Object Detection API Model Zoo. So the T key is for pause, so that's what happened there. Um, really? The GitHub? There we go. Cool. So if we scroll down, these are all the models that we can use. And then here is the, the milliseconds. And again, I still don't actually know. Unfortunately, I didn't publish the other video before I, I filmed this one. So someone's going to be able to tell us, hopefully at some point, what, what this is. I don't know if it's like a score or what. This is definitely how quick it runs, though. So um, the one I'm using, I want to say, is probably like maybe this one, the uh, RCNN Inception. Let's see which one I'm using. Yeah, so the RCN Inception V2 Coco. I tried some of these other ones. Um, so this was the best one I could find. So there's always this kind of a, you know, a, a balance between accuracy and the speed. So like for example, some of these are really slow. Like this is 600 milliseconds, so way too, way too slow. Um, you know, really even like 100 milliseconds is is just too slow. We need something faster than that. So. Um, Anyway, obviously the faster the better, especially because we're trying to find that bounding box and then in theory shoot towards the center of that box. Well, if that box is actually moving in game, then you're probably always going to be like lagging that box. So um, that'll be a problem. Um, anyway, you can try all these and, and if you want to, you can't just take the name, but if you like right click and copy the link address and then you come down here, just anywhere really, paste it out because they all have like dates to them. And then this is the thing that you want to pass here. If you don't do that, you'll get like a 403 forbidden. <laughs> so anyway, so you can try throwing those in there. Um, this is basically the exact same script as in um, the tutorial that I've already done. So I'm not really, oops. I'm so used to being able to just type Python. Um, <laughs> and it defaults to Python programming .net. Let's see, GTA. Um, and if we scroll down to object detection, um, it's basically this script here. So really the only difference is just bringing in the newer version of object detection and a different model. You can still try out this model, but uh, this is quite old. So you definitely want to use the newer versions if you can. Um, I think that's it. So the, so the next thing I'm going to work on is... Um, probably a transfer learning. Um, I'll probably transfer learn from um, from this model since this one seems to be the best one. But I am curious to try something more like uh, anything that has like the slowest or the quickest speed. So I don't even actually know. This one looks pretty quick. You know, 26. I don't know if anything is quicker than that 26 milliseconds. So, um, so in fact, what I could do is copy link address, pay, Whoops, what happened here? Paste. Uh, and then come over here. And we could paste in that mobile net. And then we could come down here, break this, rerun it. And we can just see like how quickly does everything run. The other thing I'm not sure about is like right now this is a 1280 by 720. Um, but I can make this size anything I want. So like for example, to, before I send it to process, I could make that a, you know, a, a 480 by 270 or whatever sized image. Um, so as you can see, this is much quicker than the other one, although it doesn't seem to be, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, so look how, like the frame rate on this is pretty good. So the one that's top left, this is the one that's actually running. It's pretty good, but you can see it doesn't have any distance to it. So like the other model was would definitely have detected that car I'd probably get that pedestrian or the police guy walking there look how close i got to get to this car we are close oh my gosh come on <laughs> i can't believe it doesn't get that car or the pedestrian okay so anyway there it sort of goes so this one unfortunately doesn't quite work and i and i'm not totally sure why like maybe the resolution is is too I, I'm not really sure like maybe if I bring it down because um, I think that matters like how big the input image is I, I am kind of surprised that we're not detecting that car um, let me uh, let's break this real quick I'm just kind of curious um, some of this stuff I have the answers to as I'm filming and some of this stuff I really don't um, so if I come down here um, I want to say okay so this is so I'm gonna just try uh, 480 by 270 
Oh, and then when I pop it up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in a resize. So cv2 resize. So just before it shows the image, because 480 by 270 is gonna look really, really small on this screen, because this is 1280 by 720, and you can see it's already quite small, so 480 by 270 is gonna be like super small. So cv2 resize, got rid of my quote there. Um, and then you resize zero, zero. And then the function that we wanna resize for X is t just two times. And then function Y will also be a two times. Gonna save that. Come over here, run it. And I'll come back in here. We'll see if it detects that car. Hopefully the mod's probably gonna teleport me any second now. Uh, let me just wait a minute. I'm not sure, I don't think uh, escaping helps the mod. I think the mod uses its own standalone time, so we'll see. Let's see if right at the end it gets it. Nope. So I don't think that's it either, as far as, well, we, mm, let me think here. Let me pause this real quick. Let's see, if I go back over. Yeah, so I think this model just, see, that's the unfortunate thing is that it's, um, it's fast, <laughs> but it's uh, it's not detecting the things that we want. But we may find that via transfer learning, it does, uh, and we can get that this frame rate, which is you know, I wouldn't want to play at this frame rate, but I can, you know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, those are the things that we're gonna have to definitely be checking out. Um, but like I said, the best one that I've found so far has been um, this one here. So probably I'll either do something like this, like when I go to train a custom model, my next step is gonna to be to train a custom model transferred from this model here, and then maybe later transferred from like this one, just because this one runs so fast. I'm actually just gonna make a note of this myself. Uh, runs fast, detects poorly. Paste, okay. So anyway, um, those are the next steps I'm going to be working on. Uh, if you got questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, uh, feel free to leave them below. Hopefully at some point someone will tell me what that, oh, I already closed, oh no, I didn't, it's over here. What this is, Coco M-A-P, I wonder if I could Google it. <laughs> like, what does that mean? What is the Coco? Here we go. Could someone just tell, can we just be told what it is? <laughs> so it's like speed to accuracy trade-off, maybe. But is a high score good or bad? <laughs> okay, anyway, um, I guess I'll have to read about that later. Someone can comment below, though. Like this is the one that we were running and I, I almost wonder like speed divided by, like if accuracy was high, then this would be very low. So I'm not really sure what we're looking for to be honest. Anyways, um, that's it for now. That's what we're gonna be winding up uh, heading towards. The next thing is just getting the AI to play well enough on foot. So I will see you all in another video.